Good evening, sports fans. Welcome to Sports Fan Up here on this Thursday night, January 8th, 2015. Good evening, everybody. I'm Peter Wiggins. Let's start your fatigue garden. Where the Boston Bruins fresh off its heels off a great overtime victory against the Penguins in Pittsburgh. Took on Jeremy Younger and the Jersey Devils there. And it was scores until 70 seconds left in the first period. That's when Milan Lucic, a snapshot power play goal, 7 goal seeds with assists from David Krejci, 12 assists, and Troy Quick, 10 assists, was one enough in favor of the Bruins there. And then in the second period, Carl Soderberg, a wrist shot goal, 9 goal seeds to make it 2 enough in favor of the Bruins, and with 12 seconds left in the third period, the Boston Bruins iced the victory with an empty net goal by Milan Lucic, 8, eight goal season with assists from Patrice Bergeron, 21st assist, and Chris Kelly, 14th assist. As the Boston Bruins dominated this game with start to finish with some good hockey, good teamwork, and at shot the Devils, 43 14 in the route to a 3 0 victory over the New Jersey Devils. It's now they improved their record to 21 15 and 6 in the season with 48 points. That's next up for the Boston Bruins. They'll be Dan in Philadelphia on Saturday afternoon, Monday day, Dan in Philly against the Philadelphia Flyers. How about those Bruins? As, Tuka, as Nicholas Spedberg got 14 saves while Chris Schneider got 40 saves. Alright, other scores around the NHL on this Thursday night air. 4.15 left in the third period. Philadelphia Flyers and the Washington Capitals a 2 2 tie. 5.27 left in the second period. It's St. Louis Blues leading the San Jose Sharks 5 to 2. 3.13 left in the second half. It's Nashville and Dallas to a 1-1 tie with 3.13 left in the second period here. With 4.21 left in the second period, it's Chicago Blackhawks lead the Minnesota Wild 2-1. 6.23 left in the first period, Cairo Avalanche leading the Ottawa Senators 1-0. 8.12 left in the first period, Arizona Coyotes are leading the Winnipeg Jets 2-0 here. And the Carolina Hurricanes defeat the Buffalo Sabres 5-2. Okay, let's take a look at NBA scores here. With 5-12 left in the fourth quarter, it is shot on it. So, lit in the Toronto Raptors, 85-82. Gerald Anderson's got 23 points so far for the Hornets here. And at halftime, Houston Rockets lit in the New York Knickerbockers, 56-42. Okay, let's take a look at College basketball scores here. First of all, in the men's here. Hofstra leading Charleston 61 and 58 with 54 seconds left in the second half. With 759 left in the second half, it's Omar 52, North Dakota State 50. Charlotte 53, West Kentucky 50 with 927 left in the second half. 629 left in the second half, it is Middle Tennessee 58, FIU 37. Eight minutes left in the second half. It's UAB 52 for the Atlantic 44. 737 left in the second half. It's UTSA 64. Seven minutes 47. 819 left in the second half. It's William Murray 59. Elon 52. 550 left in the second half. It's Sacramento State and North Dakota 52 52 tie. 819 left in the second half. It's Valparaiso 72. UIC 45. 1925 left in the second half. It is Louisiana Lafayette 42. Georgia State 41. 1451 left the second half. It's Texas Johnson 41. UL Monroe 35. 1619 left the second half. It is Georgia 7 46. Arkansas State 30. At halftime, it's South Alabama 48. Appalachian State 33. 1957 left the second half. It's Morehead State 30. Southeast Missouri State 28. Halftime, it's Tennessee Martin 31. Eastern Kentucky 29. At halftime, it's Texas State 27. Arkansas Little Rock 20. 241 left in the first half. It's Murray State 37, Tennessee Tech 25. 626 left in the first half. It's Gonzaga 23, San Francisco 18. 323 left in the first half. It's Weber State 26, Montana 15. 732 left in the first half. It's Portland State 19, North Carolina 17. 537 left in the first half. It's SMU 22, Memphis 13. 525 left in the first half. It's Louisiana Tech 26, Utah 18. 6.30 left in the first half. It is Robert Morris, 29, Ragnar, 23. 6.02 left in the first half. It's Oregon State, 24, Arizona State, 17. 5.57 left in the first half. It's Sanford, 24, UCLA, 23. 
7.44, left the first half. It's Rutgers 19, Nebraska 14. Fall 35, left the first half. It's Jacksonville State 35, Austin Bay 22. It's Sullivan, left the first half. It's Montana State 31, Idaho State 12. Scores that are final. Old Dominion 72, Marshall 51. Canasha 67, Maris 52. Siena 79, Niagara 69. It's IPFW 69, Denver 53. Chattanooga 66, Western Carolina 60. It's the Citadel 77, Sanford 67. It's East Tennessee State 71, Mercer 70. Furman 71, UNC Greensboro 64. Watford 75, BMI 70. It's High Point 72, Charleston 7, 61. Final new two overtimes. It's Garden Web 88, Redford 85. UNC Asheville 71, Liberty 54. St. Dayton 78, St. Bonifacio 61. It's New Hampshire 68, Brown 61. It's Cornell 70, Harvard 60. Bryant 80, St. Francis Pennsylvania 54. Mount St. Mary 82, Central Connecticut State 51. It's St. Francis New York 78, it's Fairleigh Dixon 69. It's LIU Brooklyn 82, Sacred Heart 81 and Final 2 of Times. It's Michigan State 75, Iowa 61. Missouri 74, LCU 67, Final 0 of Times. It's Wright State 70, Youngstown State 61. UNC Wilmington 74, Delaware 73, Final 0 of Times. It's Drexel 55, Towson 41. Northeastern 65, James Madison 59. It's Richmond 75, George Mason 65. It's Coastal Carolina 76, Longwood 70. Winford 57, Presbyterian 56, and Cleveland State 65, Oakland 61. Okay, let's take a look at women's college basketball scoreboard here on this Wednesday night here. Four forty three left the second half. Arizona State seventy eight. Arizona thirty eight. Illinois sixty four. Iowa fifty six. Youngstown State fifty five. IUIC forty eight. Michigan State forty nine. Nebraska forty six with thirteen left left the second half. Seven fifty three left the first half. It's Arkansas twenty one. Mississippi State fifteen. Three fifty left in the first half. It's LSU nineteen. Venable eighteen. UMass Lowell seventy five. UMBC sixty two. One of them sixty six. Ryder sixty two. Cleveland 69, Valparaiso 62. Liberty 66, Coastal Carolina 47, it's Redford 43, Presbyterian 35. Middle Tennessee 35, FIU 60, it's Morehead State 64, Southeast Missouri State 59, it's Louisiana Lafayette 68, Georgia State 52, University of Louisiana Monroe 63, Texas Arlington 51. Appalachia State 67, South Alabama 63, it's Duke 74, Syracuse 72. Maryland 88, Purdue 64. UT Martin 76, Eastern Kentucky 63. It's Tennessee Tech 74, Bury State 69. It's Arkansas Little Rock 65, Texas State 45. Western Kentucky 76, Shot 61. It's Florida Atlantic 66, UAB 56. Nickel State 70, Houston Baptist 58. It's Duquesne 88, George Mason 54. Georgia Tech 80, Boston College 77. It's Virginia 72, Wake Forest 70. Pittsburgh 84, North Carolina 59. It's North Carolina State 33, Virginia Tech 59. It's Florida State 82, Clemson 52, Miami Florida 78, Notre Dame 63. It's South Carolina 102, Alabama 59. It's Kentucky 78, Auburn 57. Obis 64, Florida 57. It's Georgia 69, Missouri 48. Tennessee 81, Texas A&M 58, Ohio State 103, Indiana 49. High point 80, Charleston 744, and Winthrop 75, UNC Asheville 755. Alright, take a look at Spots News here on this Thursday night here. Boston, which stage a celebrated marathon in its rich history of professional championships in basketball, football, baseball, and hockey will now swing for the fences in the national sports that seeks to host the 2024 Summer Olympics. An investigation into how the NFL handled its domestic abuse case involving a former Baltimore Ravens running back Ray West determined that the league was aware of the nature of the altercation but chose not to aggressively pursue additional charges. You know that Pedro Martinez one time New York Met as Cram as it ever would be the star of this all-fame press conference says what you didn't know about Randy Johnson one time Yankee and suddenly more principal than anyone remembered. Last time, Tom Brady faced the Baltimore Ravens in the playoffs. He threw two interceptions on New England Patriots' final two drafts. 
The Dallas Cowboys and Green Bay Packers can both make legitimate claims to be America's team as Dallas earned the original Mercury in the 1970s as most measures being the country's most popular and lucrative professional football team. Former New York Islanders forward J.P. Percy passed away Wednesday night at the age of 73 after a long battle with lung cancer was reported by the Associated Press. Deron Williams, with that being on the next, Tan Ned Stretch Ford. And Lawrence Kansas, Oil Power, Ford. Carlton Beck, one of the nation's top basketball prospects, is added to Kansas, much to the green of those in Kentucky. Washington Nationals outfielder Jason Worth is scheduled for shoulder surgery. Three games of this first season as Tampa Bay Buccaneers coach Larry Smith. Brought to an embarrassment as the defense was steamrolled on national television by the offense exploded for 56 points time the second most final club in history. As the Buccaneers hire Atlanta Falcons Dirk Cutter as offensive coordinator. The Chicago Bears avoided connection to their recent past by hiring Ryan Pace to be their GM. He has that national patch job as new Bears GM Ryan Pace one of respected colleagues. Defense will be on the Dolphins in Seattle when defending Super Bowl champion Seahawks will host the upstart Carolina Panthers with a birth of the NFC Championship game on the line. The Atlanta Braves continue both on their farm system and London left handed teenage pitcher Rick Carter Sanchez and they'll have three player deal with the Angels on Thursday. Former Miami Dolphins fullback Rob Cameron might be the closest thing to an actual Dolphin than the team has ever played. As ex Dolphins play Falls of Ocean survives by swimming nine miles from the land. Charlie Hoffman heads back to the plantation course for Capella Resort for his third prince in a Hyundai Tournament of Champions. Sakubu's captain, Malik Jeanette, said he's not worried about the way the expectation of his red of tonight's opening Asian Cup match against Kuwait and Melbourne. Australia again missed his chance as India crept to win 120 runs of the first inning total on the fourth day of its final Sydney test on Friday. And that's where it for Sportsman on the Pew on the Thursday night, January 8, 2015. Have a good night, and I'll see you tomorrow right after the Boston Celtics, Indiana Pacers game, and the Norton Lancers, Halston. Panthers boys, first basketball game in the United States, and have a good night.